Hi, I'm Michael, partner at Cooling Adventures, an early stage VC fund in Singapore. So let's say you're a founder and you're looking to fundraise. How do you get money from a VC? I'll explain to you how a VC works, how we think, and how do you fundraise. A VC is a financial institution and we have investors ourselves. So similar to how a founder is looking to fundraise, we as a VC fundraise as well. So our investors are called limited partners. Limited partners can be family offices, large institutions, sovereign wealth funds or funder funds, and they put money to work at a VC for 10 years. In those 10 years, we have about four to five years to invest that capital into the best companies. But after those 10 years, we have to well, at least distribute all the capital back to our limited partners. And preferably some more as well. That's what we call a markup. So what happens when you look for a company to invest in? Or when you as a founder uh, pitch us for an investment? There's a few things that are very, very important. Companies that are looking to raise at an early stage tend to be very risky. You might have a plan or you have a plan. You might have some revenue, you have a team, but there's a lot of risk. How are you going to expand? How are you going to grow your business? How are you going to grow your team? Will you become profitable in the next five years? So we are trying to answer all these questions in the interviews we do with, with a founder. Because when we invest $1 into a company, we try to get a home run. And a home run is typically when our $1 becomes $10 over time. And preferably that happens within a period of about seven, seven to eight years. So imagine, you go to a VC and you'll say, I'm building the next e -wallet. We want to understand what makes you different than other e-wallets. What makes you special? And why do you think that you're able to grow faster than your competitors? And what makes you strong as a founder? What makes your team good? We know that you might pivot and change your e-wallet into an online bank because that's a bigger opportunity. We all understand that. But in the first few meetings, we want to get a sense of whether this team has the ability to make this $1, $10. Typically, what a venture capital does is after um, investing in the company, we try to be helpful. And this could be in various ways. Uh, we could be helpful on your next fundraising round where we look at our network, or we go back to our limited partners and ask them for more capital to invest in your company. We also try to help with talent recruiting. Where can we find the best talent for your company? Or maybe you're a Singapore-based company and you're expanding to Malaysia and Vietnam. Then we'll look for business partners in those markets and, and help you expand. So basically, we're building trust. We're building trust in the ability, in your ability to, to build this company and maintain this company. As VCs have different forms of investing, you'll see that some VCs, they'll ask for a board seat uh, or kind of more hands-on involvement. Why is a board seat important for, for VCs? The one thing is it allows them to, to coach the, the management team and to coach the founders. But it also allows them to monitor um, and see how the progress is going. And if necessary, maybe steer the business. Because it could be that at some point you decide to, um, uh, to open a new product line or build a new product. It might be the time to say, hey, I'm not sure if this is the right product at the right time. But that's why it's important for VCs to get a board position or at least to get involved in the business and have some mechanism of steering because we are taking, taking very high risk. So in your, in your entrepreneurial journey, um, you have your VC as partner. But you have more partners, you, you have corporate partners, your clients, of course your, your team members. The most important part when you are fundraising is the VC will ask you, you know, how can you be of added value in our portfolio? How good are you? Um, are you going to return our money? Um, how can we be helpful? But also ask the VC, how can you help my company grow? How can you help my company scale? And ask the question. The selection process from our side is as much a selection process from your side.